GoDay inserts and how to stabilize them. That's coming up. Hello, Fashion Sewer, and welcome to FSB TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee, and we are going to be talking about Go Days, Go Day inserts, and how to stabilize them. This question comes from Dinny Hines, and the problem that she is having is that they are falling out of her project. Now, this could be due to the fact that um, there's no stabilization in the area in which she is putting the go day inserts. So I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks on how to solve that problem. So let's get started. So what we have here is a go day. That's a go day insert and that's what it looks like. And we also have some fabric here. And what happens is that we're putting a go day into a slash. Um, the case in this case, when you put in a go day into a slash, a slash has no seam allowance. Because what a slash actually means is a term in the industry is just a cut in the fabric. So if you're just cutting in, there's going to be no seam allowance. But there is seam allowance in the go day. Now I have done uh, quite a few, well, three or four video tutorials on go days. So if you click the i icon here, it will take you to a playlist and I recommend you to do so. So going back to the go day, um, what I will demonstrate is how to stabilize the back of the fabric and give you some tips and tricks of how to sew that into the garment. Now a go day is found at the hemline of garments and what it is, is where you want a, a lot more volume and fullness to that particular area as well as it being a decorative style feature. So what happens in the industry, they call it a slash, and all you're doing is cutting into the fabric, straight cut, and as you can tell, there's gonna be no seam allowance. So that is your slash. So there is your slash. So the first thing you need to think about in order to stop the issue of this the go days falling out is stabilized with fusible interfacing and I would recommend that the interfacing is a lighter than the fabric because you don't want it to distort maybe that's what you're going for a go day that sticks out a lot more but do bear that in mind that if you can keep it to the same weight as the fabric or even lighter would be perhaps a better option so that would be the first thing you need to do and the next thing is to consider is when you're putting into the putting the go days into the slash is that you may also want to put some interfacing onto the seam line of the go day, perhaps about two millimeters above the seam line in which you're actually going to sew may help. So that's something else to consider. And also, if you're still having problems, what you can do is get an extra piece of, um, just a thin piece of interface and just put it towards the top of the go day. So you're kind of getting more control and stabilizing the area um, furthermore in order to make sure that they don't come away. Because remember, you are working with zero seam allowance. The other thing could be also is that when you're sewing them into the go day, or into the slash, is that you may want to shorten your stitch length maybe halfway. So as it comes up to the point of the go day, you may want to shorten that seam length, seam stitch length, and then continue down the other side. So that would also help with the fact that. Um, it won't be pulling away from the garment, but just bear in mind that you are also making sure that you don't distort the area too much. And that should help you with your situations of your go days from stopping them from falling out. So. Don't forget, for more tutorials on go days, do click the icon here in order to access my playlist. Dini, I do hope you found this tutorial helpful in solving your problems with your go days coming out of your project. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. 
If you want to receive notifications of when I upload a video, hit the bell. Please do put your comments and questions, and particularly if you want me to answer a question that's boring you with a project, please put that in the comment box. And I will see you next time.